What's going on ladies and gents, and you're watching another episode of Your Guide to Ride, where I'll help you guys ride public transit with ease. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to ride the TransLink bus system in Metro Vancouver, British Columbia. I really hope you guys will enjoy this video, and I hope that the video will help you guys out on your next journey aboard these buses. because. I don't think many of us are familiar with the TransLink bus system in the first place, but yeah, let's begin. Buses in the Metro Vancouver area are first of all operated by the following companies, which include the Coast Mountain Bus Company, West Vancouver Municipal Transit, also known as Blue Bus, which operates a few select bus routes in West Vancouver, North Vancouver, Vancouver, and the small village of Lions Bay, and First Transit, which operates the accessible transit service known as Handy Dart. Coast Mountain is by far the most prominent out of the three, and operates the most amount of routes and buses throughout the system, but in the end, all three bus companies now operate as part of TransLink with the use of multiple contracts. In 1983, the Crown Corporation known as BC Transit was originally the entity that handled public transit here in Vancouver and operated everything from the buses to the SkyTrain. Fifteen years later, in 1998, this responsibility was handed over to the newly formed South Coast British Columbia Transportation Authority, otherwise known as TransLink. Today, BC Transit is still responsible for handling the other transit systems in British Columbia. But back to talking about TransLink. The TransLink bus system currently handles over 700,000 passengers daily across Metro Vancouver, whilst providing them convenient connections to the West Coast Express, SkyTrain, and C-Bus, as well as to many schools, including the University of British Columbia, which is perfect for students to get to their classes fast. So yeah, Definitely take advantage of the incredible amount of convenience that the TransLink bus system offers to their passengers. In Vancouver, there is a variety of different bus services within the routes, which operate in different frequencies, time frames, or use their own unique fleet of buses, which I'll talk about later. TransLink buses can be assigned to operate in the following types of routes within the system. This includes the regular local bus routes you often come across, the trolley buses which are mostly found within downtown Vancouver, the higher demand and or express bus routes which use the articulated or coach style buses, the community shuttle which uses minibuses to serve the smaller communities with less demand, night bus, which are the special bus routes that operate between 2am to 5am all year round, express bus, which is a suburban express bus service with fewer stops than locals I'm pretty sure, Handy Dart, which is a door-to-door -door shared ride minibus system for people who aren't able to travel on normal transit systems without assistance like the rest of us, such as for the disabled. So essentially, you guys and your helpers can take advantage of Handy Dart to travel to exactly where you need to go across Metro Vancouver, with ease and comfort for you. Also note that TransLink and First Transit's Handy Dart service is not to be confused with BC Transit's Handy Dart system for the rest of British Columbia. Next, we have the Rapid Bus, which is an express bus service 20% faster than local buses with fewer stops and many different features and perks for the riders. And the B-Line, which is the express bus service being replaced by the Rapid Bus. And the 99 B-Line is the only route still in service, and it surprisingly gains the title of the busiest bus route in North America, serving up to 100,000 passengers daily. So there are definitely quite a lot of options for buses that you guys can take advantage of. And now, here are some transit maps provided to us by TransLink, which covers the regions within Metro Vancouver. 
And yeah, it is pretty difficult to see the maps clearly on this video. And so I'll provide the link to the TransLink site where I got these maps from. As well as the link to another TransLink site where you guys can check out the schedules for each one of these bus routes. Which will really help if you guys are planning to use a specific bus route often. Man, that is a lot of routes for you guys to check out, but yeah, let's move on. Buses under the ownership of TransLink can either be 40 feet long non-articulated or 60 feet articulated buses. Oh, and of course there's also the 20 feet long mini buses for the handy darts and the community shuttle. Buses in Vancouver can be powered with the following types of fuel, which include diesel, hybrid, battery electric, CNG or compressed natural gas, electric for the trolley buses, and gasoline for the mini buses. Please let me know down in the comments if there are any inaccuracies with the fleet info. I'm doing my best here. And note that some bus models may use more than one type of engine, transmission, or destination sign. Also, the mini buses I'll mention here usually consist of a cutaway bus body, which is built on a bus chassis from a different manufacturer. I know, this is pretty difficult to take in. But anyways, here we go! Starting off with the Coast Mountain Bus Company, the current 40 feet buses are the following. The Orion 5 from Orion Bus Industries, the C40 LFR, D40 LFR, E40 LF, E40 LFR, XN40, XD40, and XE40 from NFI or New Flyer Industries, the LFS, LFSE, and LFS HEV from Novabus, and the Enviro 500 from Alexander Dennis. The 60 feet buses from Coast Mountain include the D60 LFR, E60 LFR, DE60 LFR, and the XDE60 from New Flyer Industries. The community shuttle buses from Coast Mountain include the following the Arbok SOF 27 the Arbok SOM28, and the Garardin G5, all of which are built on the Chevrolet G4500 medium-duty chassis. The current conventional buses from West Vancouver Municipal Transit are the following. The XD40 from New Flyer Industries, and the LFS from Novabus. The only community shuttle bus type they own currently is the Arbok SOM28, built on the Chevrolet 4500 chassis. Finally, the current TransLink Handy Dart minibuses include the following. The Garardin MB2, which can either be built on the Chevrolet G4500 or on the Ford Transit chassis. And the Garardin G5 on the G4500 chassis. And now, here are the photos of Coast Mountain Bus Company's retired bus fleet. I'm just hoping that I don't miss out on any bus models just because they're poorly documented. Also, I want to give a brief shout out to the rightful owners of some of these photos. Thank you so much for giving me the permission to use your photos for this video. The links to their bus photos websites will be in the description. Please check them out. Now, let's move on to the retired bus fleet for West Vancouver Municipal Transit, also known as Blue Bus. And a really interesting fact is that Blue Bus began operations back in 1912, which makes it one of the oldest municipal transit systems in North America still in operation. And last but not least, we have the retired bus roster for TransLink's Handy Dart system. Fares and payments aboard all TransLink buses are actually pretty simple, as they all operate under a one-zone fare, unlike the SkyTrain, West Coast Express, or C-Bus. With just one payment of a single fare, you'll have access to 90 minutes of unlimited travel across the system. There are many different ways for you to purchase the fare for these bus rides. The first method is by paying with cash the moment you board the bus. Simply dump your payment into the fare box inside the bus. Oh, and try to keep your payment as exact as possible. 
Then, the bus driver will hand you a transfer which you can use to transfer between TransLink buses for 90 minutes. And this will not work on the SkyTrain, C-Bus, or West Coast Express. If you have a credit card, debit card, compass card, compass ticket, or any other contactless payment method, you can pay for your fare simply by tapping your uh, payment method onto the card reader inside the bus as soon as you board. You guys don't need to tap off when exiting the bus, and remember to tap every time you board a bus. With a compass card or ticket, you guys are able to transfer onto the SkyTrain or C-Bus for up to 90 minutes or 120 minutes for the West Coast Express. Additional fees may apply. So guys, remember to purchase a compass card or ticket at a vending machine if you're going to travel on the SkyTrain, C-Bus or West Coast Express as well. For Handy Dart, payment is just about the same as compared to conventional buses. Please don't hesitate to ask a staff member if you're having trouble. In October 2021, the Compass Card system was finally integrated into Handy Dart, meaning that you guys can now purchase your fares easily using your Compass Card and Compass Ticket. Finally, if you guys don't know what a Handy Card does, Basically, it's a photo ID card for HandyDart users who aren't able to use the conventional transit systems without assistance. Handy card holders are entitled to concession priced fares whilst having their attendants travel with them for free. Alright, ladies and gentlemen of all ages. This will just about do it for this Guide to Ride episode on the TransLink bus system. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash that like button and the subscribe button and also leave a comment down below as well. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you for the next video. Next step, number 5, road.